he was um, only really able to what they call combat crawl on his stomach with one arm. His eyes really didn't track very well at all. One eye was still severely limited with its visual capability and focus. And he was a very happy and joyful baby, but just very limited at what he can do, especially for his age. Oh. Hand movements were very limited. Um, if he did anything with his hands, he would be grasping with almost a closed hand, and they were not. His hands were not working together bilaterally. Right? They, it, it's like they were their own different tools. So take all this previous symptoms that he had, and now he's a stroke survivor with um, damage to his visual cortex. So his original condition of vein of galen malformation affected his brain development and then the stroke on top of that affected it. His motor diagnosis is cerebral palsy, mixed type. I had talked to another mom whose daughter had cerebral palsy due to a stroke um, and the girl came when she was 12 years old and I had heard that she had recovered vision in her right eye and that was what made me come travel hundreds of miles to seek treatment for him. Our hope when we came here for acupuncture was that he would have restored vision in his right eye, that he would be able to talk and move and act and think like a typical toddler. That was our hope. I, I guess I would separate hope and expectation. I had very little expectation for him to come back. Um, I think my wife probably had more hope and a certain level of expectation. My, myself, I didn't come on the first trip, and so, but after the results of the first trip, I came on the second trip. However, my hope was is that Christian would feel better because Christian, throughout the day, even though he was not, you know, he was under two years old, you can just tell that he was probably in a little bit of discomfort because of his issues. So after his first trip, where he had where he had uh, four appointments. Immediately I saw when he came home, when I picked him up from the airport, uh, he was in his, his therapy stroller, but he was able to focus on me. As soon as they, Portland Airport is cool, as soon as you, you make the turn um, and you can see where everyone greets their, their family. So we were standing there and from 10 meters away he was able to see me. Of course he still wasn't talking back then, but he recognized me with a big smile and his hands out. And we noticed right away that he would stay focused on us. And that was not the case just a one week prior. He would lose focus in his vision. Again, his eyes weren't working uh, correctly. The eyes weren't working together. But suddenly his eyes were working together and he could stay focused on this for, for minutes at a time. So that's the one thing I noticed right away. He could now see the things that he wanted to, to play with. So maybe he didn't notice things were there before and so he, maybe he didn't want to play with them. But now that his, his vision was working so much better, he could see toys that he wanted to play with, so he was more um, likely to use his hands and start grasping at things. He was starting to open his hands a lot more. Um, because of his vision, his body corrected because he would do a little bit of a lean because his vision was so affected, but after the first four treatments, his body also straightened up, which maybe loosened up his arms also to make, make his hands work a little better. I, I didn't know if I, was, if I was just making it up or maybe I was just so joyous that um, but again, I had no expectation. I had some hope in my, my hopes and my expectations were, were blown away. I, I could not have been any happier. Immediately, the very following Monday, Friday night when they came home, the following Monday, we, we called to make an appointment for November, which was about a year ago, uh, to come back. And when we came back, we all came this time. A completely different child. Um, the conversation I have with a lot of people, especially when we talk to them about coming to Santa Fe for, for therapy, is that the typical treatment for a child with cerebral palsy in his condition is very narrow-minded. There's uh, neurology, there's a little bit of physical therapy, a little bit of occupational therapy, very silo type of treatments and they don't ever seem to be on the same page. If we were to stick to only that treatment, you would not see the Christian that you've seen today. Because of the acupuncture, it allows those physical therapies, occupational therapy, speech therapy, vision therapy, feeding clinics, all of those to be that much more effective because he's able to see better, he can use his hand better, his body is looser, he knows he, we, he feels better, he looks forward to coming to his appointments. The needles don't bother him. I know many, many strong men who are scared of needles. Christian, that's not the case. He knows he's going to feel better when he comes here. You can put the needles in and take them out. It doesn't bother him at all. He knows what he's getting when he comes here. He, he can walk. We were told um, when he was a month, maybe two months old, especially after his stroke, 
He may never walk. He may never talk. The neurologist told us he'll be able to communicate with us. What he meant was he'll be able to maybe learn sign language, maybe learn to read Braille, things like that. He, they never expected him to talk. He can have a conversation with us now. About like a two-year-old, but still a conversation. We know he's getting better every day. He learns words every day. And walking, he can run. He can, he can go f move fast down a hallway, know where he needs to go, make those corrections. Of course, it could be better because, you know, he's, he's older. He learned to walk older, but he is walking now. He could walk in the sand. He could walk up hills. He could walk upstairs on his own. He could walk downstairs on his own. So a lot of the things that we were told that he would never be able to do, he's, he's, he's done them. So, and it seems to get better every time that we come here. That's why we come as often as we have. Again, 15 months, this is our sixth trip. If, if we would only do what the doctors in Portland, Oregon have said to do, you know, your, our neurological appointments every six months for check-ins, our annual cardiac review, our annual pulmonary review, our vision testing every six months, our physical therapy once every two weeks, occupational therapy once a month. If we were just to do that, there, there would be no progress. You would not see the child, the happy child who's in preschool today would not be possible. So my message to the families who are thinking about it, try it, just try it. You owe it to your child to at least try. Have low expectation of a miracle, but have high expectation of potential hope. Even if they get 1% better and you come six times, that's 6% better. That's better than what you have. And if you can come more often, come more often. I will say that we've seen probably 10 to 15% improvement every time we've come. If you do the math, and this is our sixth visit, we're talking about nearly a 100% change. We're coming back in March. And we'll probably come back. We're going to come back until Dr. Howe says, you don't have to come back anymore. Uh, why we come to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Neuroacupuncture is only done in the country in one place from what we understand. And it's right here. Neuroacupuncture is very, very specific. And we're talking about my child who has, who was born with a neurological issue, has a secondary neurological issue from a stroke to where the research that we've done, there's only one place in this country from to be able to come and that's right here and that's why we make that trip. It's a great expense, but it's worth it. It is absolutely worth the trip for us to come. Every time we pack up our family and all of our, all, everything that we need, um, because if you need a very, very specific type of treatment, no matter who you are or what your ailment is, if there's only one place in the country to go to get it done, that's what you're gonna do. That's what we do. That's what we've done for six times.